What is up guys? Razor here. Welcome back to Final Fantasy V Pixel Master for the PC. Let's enter the X Zone or otherwise known as the Interdimensional Rift. But I'm gonna call it the void. There it is right here. Going into the void. What's that? The rift. Can't fight it. We're being sucked in. Good. We get a free ride. Here we go. Alright. Interdimensional rift. Alright, so we got these shifting sands here. Okay, we already fought these enemies before. Uh, you can always leave as well. Once you come in here, you can just leave. Like, we could go back to the ship. And we could literally just leave. But... Obviously, I'm not going to do that because I want to. I want to come here. But before you come here, you want to max out on high potions, ethers as well. You don't have to though, but it's preferable. And then you can spend the rest on elixirs or whatever. This area is massive too, by the way. So it's going to take us a few episodes to complete this area. And then we'll have the game beat. There is no like optional content in the Pixel Remaster. So there is in the Game Boy Advance version there was a optional dungeon that you could go through. And you could fight Omega MK2. And you can also fight Neo Shinryu. But th that's not available in this game. Only in the Game Boy Advance. Well, I'm not sure if it's in the other versions of the game or not, but I know it's in the Game Boy Advance. For a thousand years, we have been sealed within the rift. Once x step attains the power of the void, our new home, a world of darkness will be born. You've been a thorn in Lord x -Step's side for long enough. The void will be your burial ground. <laughs> yeah, that's not going to happen. Okay, we got a new enemy here. Grenade and Death Dealer. Ah, oh, great. The uh, Death Dealers have Roulette, which is very annoying. I want to get rid of the Death Dealers first, actually. Ah, great. Lovely. Oh, at least it killed itself. Or killed its teammate, I mean. I'm going to put a gold hairpin on the main character. To reduce, his, to reduce the MP cost. Gold hairpin. You gotta love gold hairpins. Uh, I'm going to give a gold hairpin to her, too. Actually, I can't. Okay, let's continue on then. Ugh, ether, but I can't hold anymore. 
Yeah, the grenades have self-destruct, as you'd expect. Cottage. You can learn a roulette from the death dealers if you don't already have it. We already have it. Okay, I don't... We f I think we fought Guild Drill before, but it's been so long ago. I guess I'll show it again here. Oh crap, it starts out Reflect. Ooh, that's not good. Well, goodbye Black Mage. I didn't know that. <laughs> I think I'll just use Raze, honestly. Or uh, Arise, I mean. Oh, nice crit there. I'm gonna go ahead and heal up. Ooh, level 4 Gravija. You can learn that as well if you don't already have it. We already learned that earlier. There you go, Ferris Mastered Monk. So let's go ahead and switch Ferris to a Black Mage. I will equip a gold hairpin. I will also do subtime mage. Oh no, I can't do subtime mage. I have to do sub white. Go ahead and heal up some here. Okay, Elixir. Keep in mind with self-destruct, uh, the damage that the bombs deal are based on how much HP it has left. So, if they have like no HP left, then it ain't going to do a whole lot to you anyway. So I wouldn't worry about it too much. Okay, we got a new enemy here. Level Checker and Bald Danders. Let's see, we'll do Flare. I guess we'll do Meteor. There we go. Take him out pretty quickly there. Black Magic level 3. Yeah, this place is cool because we were at like a sand area and now all of a sudden we're in like a machinery area. Okay, so I'm going to take this one first over here, I believe. Okay, got a rune chime there. Power of various types of elemental magic and uses MP to perform critical hits. Alright, so down over here. Elixir. Okay, we get the Blood Sword. Which I'm not sure. I don't really think it's as OP as it is in the other games. Apparently, we already have one anyway. I don't even remember getting one earlier. 
Alright, let's head up here into this door. Then up to the next area. Okay, now we're in a <laughs> room similar to that of the Phantom Village. Oh, we are in the Phantom Village. Interesting. Yeah, that was that door that we tried to open earlier and we couldn't. We couldn't get through it, remember? Can't talk to the townspeople here. You recover your HP and MP, though. Everybody's frozen in time. Let's see, what do we got to do? Do we just leave the area? Yeah, here we go. Okay. And now, as you can tell, we're in like the Forest of Moor. So yeah, very cool final dungeon. Well, technically, I guess it leads into another area. Another. This dungeon leads into another dungeon. And that's the final dungeon, but... Yeah, these are new enemies, by the way. White Flame. <coughs> I wasn't able to see their names. My bad. Kind of like was distracted there. Yeah, Moss Fungus. All right, she got confused. Meteor is so good. It's like overpowered, practically. Okay, let's see. Looking around for chest here. There's one over there. So we actually need to go the other way. We need to go back this way. Oops. Okay, Dragon Fang. Alright, now we need to go back the other way. Okay. Alright, so the next chest is over there. There's actually two of them, three of them. Okay, let's see. Okay, a ribbon. Ribbon number four. That's the last ribbon that we need. We now have a ribbon for every character. Little fraud. Not sure if that's any good or not.
I actually want to equip that. Let's see if, yeah, we can equip the little fraud. A rod that casts flirt on those it hits can siphon away the target's MP. Interesting. Okay, enhancer. Alright, so they can sell the chest in this, uh, like, forest. Let me just double check here, yep. Looks like we got them all. Go ahead and heal up some here. Okay. Go down this way. Alright, here's the end of the forest. Or actually... No, it's not actually. I thought it was going to be the end of the forest. How do we get out of this place? That's where we came in over there. I could have sworn this would be where it would end, right? Weird. Oh, here's a... Okay, here's a thing right here. I see. There we go. These woods are so peaceful. Why don't you rest here for all eternity? And it's boss time. Against. Hold on one second. <coughs> Calofesteri. Apparently, she starts out with auto reflect. So my mages are gonna be pretty bad. Can we dispel it, maybe? Or is it like one of those permanent things? I guess that worked. We're gonna do Meteor. Yep, pretty good. Meteor, Flare. Meteor, flare. <laughs> I'm playing actually, actually inputting my commands fast for a change. People always complain to me in my all bosses videos where I input commands too slow. Well, there you go. You're welcome, viewers. I I own that boss literally. Uh, for defeating that boss, you get 20 ability points. Very easy boss. I don't even think she did anything. I think she bounced the spell off herself with her fleck and that was about it. Anyway, for defeating her, 20 ability points. You know what? We're only at 19 minutes. I thought we were longer. I thought we were farther in than that, but apparently not. Let's continue on a little bit. I'm not getting the episode yet. Here at a cave. And we got new to me here, Archelon. Or Archie Archelon? I'm not sure. Apparently you can one shot him with Firaga. Oh great, they have Demon Eye. Just like the Katobo Plus. Alright, so before going on, let's fight. There's two more enemies that we can fight around here. 
Let's go ahead and do that real quick. Yeah, here they are. Well, actually, this isn't it. These are like enemies at the beginning of the game. There we go. Uh, but anyway, there are other new enemies around here. Here we go. Here's one of them. Oru, Oru Cat. It's like a Hecti's enemy. Okay. Let me go ahead and raise uh, Luna there. There's one other new enemy in this area too. There it is right there, the Great Dragon. There we go. Alright, so fight the great dragon, the Oru cat, and that first enemy that, that we fall. That's all the enemies in the cave section. I guess we got more to this place anyway. I guess it didn't really matter. I figured the reason I went ahead and encountered him, I thought that there was, I thought there wasn't going to be more to the cave. Like I said, it's been a long time since I've played this game, so. So we can go in here, or we can go in the next zone as well. Okay, cool ring. Actually, let's go back up real quick and we'll go to the other door. Let's go back. Head on over here. Aha, at least your chest. Angel ring. You must have already gotten one of those before. Yep. Guard resists aging and zombification. Alright, there we go. I'm going to go in the video here, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode. And later. You definitely want to save it here at the save point though. Uh, just so you guys know. So make sure to save it. There we go. Alright. Thanks for watching. Later.